Hey guys, I hope that you're all doing well. Welcome back. Let's play some more EU4. And we're at war with literally like half of the world right now <laughs> as the Japanese pirates because the Spanish do not like Japanese pirates. We have been passed by yet another guy. So it looks like Russia lost some land to the Commonwealth. That's what it seems like. Definitely lost a bunch of land to the Commonwealth. So the Commonwealth just traded spaces with the, uh, with the Russians. We'll be able to pass them up probably even in this war. And, uh... That's pretty good. So we're going to need to land our guys over here and uh, take back Lisboa. That is my intention, at least. Let's go ahead and make sure we're getting all these guys. So we're actually gaining army tradition now. Did I just see some... Uh... Ooh, Bohemia wants out, which is cool with me. Uh, I think I just saw some... Um... Bengali soldiers walk, running around down here. Let's go ahead and break that wall. The sooner we get it, the better. So we're at 10 again. We're at 11 this time. Bengal will want out within the next couple of months. Uh, they can siege down that stuff. That's fine with me. Doesn't bother me at all. As long as these guys don't get killed, I don't really mind what's going on over here. So we won the Siege of Lisboa. So let's go ahead and get you guys spread out like this. Kill their navy. Oh, crap. Hmm. Well. Um, this is bad. Let's see if we can get you guys away. Hopefully they don't get stack wiped. Yeah, they probably are. Unfortunately. No, 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 no. Don't you dare. Okay, so let's see here. We're basically just going to war with this so we, so we can create a colonial nation. Um, I'm fairly certain since we have fleet basing rights there i don't really know how a colonial nation will work for pirates i'm hoping it will still give us free reign i think it will but i might be wrong let's go ahead and just take these galleys out of there as well don't need them just delete them clog it up our force limit naval force limit here and so uh let's go ahead and detach these guys over here interesting Killing off some of my fleets over here. Alright, very good. You guys are transports, we can get rid of you. You guys are galleys, we can get rid of you. Oh, let's just go ahead and split them in half. And uh, within a couple of months we'll be able to get the truce we're looking for. And then we can start blockading the uh, Spanish, which will be good as well. Some more ship durability is going to be super nice. That'll give us up to 20% total. Um, it's unfortunate that we lost those guys there. The only problem is, is when I split the armies up like this, they're going to they're gonna pick up on that. Or they're going to come and try to siege down Lisboa. Or both. Either is going to be pretty annoying. Um... We're so we're so rich right now though. We're, we have so much money coming in. Their enthusiasm is still high though. So Bengal's gonna want out very soon. So let's just go ahead and see if we can because as Bengal can let, sit on that. I don't care. Sudanese separatists. Um, we'll get those sorted out eventually. They're not gonna have any time to break off, so it's fine. So Bengal will go down sooner or later. Let's go with. Um, let's go with the yearly absolutism. I think that's going to be the most useful, especially since we've been using a lot of our points for- Oh, shoot. I did not see them. Um, oh, wow. That's a lot of men. Uh, let's go ahead and get you guys grouped up. Let's see if we can pull a fast one on them. There we go. No, oh, I hate that. Why did they still start the battle? They clearly were out at sea. Okay, anyways. Let's get Bengal pieced out. So they will not get their capital back. And that will free up some extra war score. Somehow, these turds still have war score, which is not right, but that's fine. Um, uh, I'd rather lose the inflation. Matter of fact, I'm okay with spending some more to lose some more inflation, so that's good. Um... Let's go ahead and get you guys grouped up. Let's go ahead and um, attach a blockade. And let's just blockade the crap out of Portugal. There we 
go. Just blockade the crap out of these guys. If he doesn't want to surrender, he can... There we go. There we go. Basically, I just wanted these two islands over here. We'll core them up when we can. That'll form a colonial nation because you'll see we have one, two, three, four, five now. So a colonial nation will form. And now we just need to uh, get these guys blockaded in, in, in their entirety. Um, we're going to lose a month worth of income over here, which is fine. Basically, I just want all the... Tr the oh, yes. Yes! Oh, that's so good. Let's see what's going on over here. Can we... Too far away. So we're going to privateer um, Sevilla. And we're going to actually go ahead and give them our admiral. Which is great. Um, and then... Hmm. I want these guys to be safe, so let's actually go ahead... Hmm. I don't want to just send my lights because they do have ships somewhere where it's going to be bad for me. Um, let's go ahead and set this to local defensiveness. No edict there. Okay. Where's all this money? Spoils of war? Yeah, I think that's just from, uh, yeah. We're actually going to get a bunch more too as we start to privateer uh, over here. So, these guys... I am going to drop them off on Madeira. And we're going to uh, let these guys blockade the crap out of these guys. So, what was this we got? Imperial Conquest. Very cool. Um, sinking his heavies. So, he's lost 80 ships to my 30. So And I've only lost 29 of my own ships. So, that's pretty good. Yes. More ships to kill them all. It's crazy. Like, this is actually nuts. Dude is losing so many ships. Let's just go ahead, send you guys to go privateer in uh, Sevilla as well. Hey, everybody. Are you going to let me know if I need to upgrade my ships? I got a lot of people that leave comments saying, Hey, don't forget to, to upgrade your ships, you idiot. Do you realize how many ships we have? We'll do what we can. I promise. All right, Manufactories is here. So we're just going to blockade the crap out of this dude. Um, admin, sounds good. Turn around. More inflation reduction. Very good. Cool. So this is actually going to give me war score. He's going to want to peace out here pretty soon. Um, ideally, I will take like Ibiza or an island. Like I need an island. Ideally, it would be like something like this. This would allow us to get all of this and then all of hmm, like Corsica maybe. So Corsica would allow me to get literally all of this and this. So, hmm, oh, that's a lot, man. I don't know. Let's see here. Let's go ahead and actually get our fleet grouped up. They're taking a lot of attrition right now for being at sea for too long. We're going to need to repair them up. Okay. Let's go ahead and pick these guys up again. We do want to siege down some stuff. I'm actually gaining ticking war score right now, which is great. We sunk the Spanish flagship somehow. So there's some transports. Do we have enough right here? Totally. We actually have way more transports than we did before, which is just funny. Um, so let's get you guys over in like over here in like Ibiza. And uh, have you guys dropped off. This is going to give us our ship durability, which is wonderful. Very good. Very good. Let's see if we can catch these ships out over here. Beautiful. There we go. Blockade everything. These guys aren't blockading anything. 
Um, a lion. Interesting. So how much are you guys taking? Five percent? Nine percent? Damn. Are they not in supply range here? They should be. Seven. Interesting. So they're asking for truce. I can totally get the war score I need for this. Yeah, I think I can actually do this. I'll just have to uh, siege down a bunch of his land. So let's go ahead, have you guys split and come on over there. And have you guys come on over there. And then we're going to siege down Medina or something as well. Basically, there's no risk involved in this maneuver right here. Because they cannot get to me. I rule the seas. This is my island now. I call dibs. And as the, um, you know, as we start to make it more and more, as the war exhaustion goes up and all this stuff, we will gain nothing but more, um, so is this attrition really that bad? No. So they're not experiencing it anymore. They're at 17%. So these guys are going to need a little bit of, little bit of love. So let's get you guys up there and get you guys, let them repair for at least one tick. There you go. Let's get you guys down here. Siege down Malta. And then eventually we're going to get enough. So they're taking 15% attrition. That does not make sense. We are literally within range. They're repairing because we're in a colonial or we're in a sea tree sea sea zone trade zone sea zone sea tile. Okay, cool. Let's go ahead and make sure we are building things. What's going on, Jamaica? Why not? You know. Uh, so these rebels are actually. Hmm. So let's go ahead and just build a couple of mercs over here. Just so we don't, they're not making progress. They're probably actually going to march over from here. But as long as we're sieging the time, the they won't make province. They won't make any um, progress. Okay. So we're getting very close to this one. Um, so let's get you guys grouped up and get you guys over here. Get you guys over here. And get you guys down here. Let's get you guys. We're gonna need. Yeah. Okay, these rebels are to be expected. But I think it's gonna reset the time on it, right? Uh, maybe. Okay. Whenever we get to 10%, we're gonna actually probably be able to get this piece that we're looking for. So this is good. Um. Go ahead and have you guys like pick these guys up so you're not taking all that attrition for free. Yeah, so it's resetting the timer, which is good. Um, so this is mountains, so ideally we're not actually going to be able. So we're just going to keep those guys there. Let's go ahead and get you guys brought over though. They lost 105 ships to my 33. They really don't stand a chance. It's actually insane. Okay. Okay. Just need to be careful that those guys are not allowed to defect. Ooh, okay. So, we should have been building Spy Network as well. That's a misplay. Let's go ahead and get you guys over here on Naples. See if we can... Oh, blockading Naples itself is going to give us some war score. So we should do that anyways. Let's go ahead and get him over here. It's only a level two fort. Um, unfortunately, it's not a. Um... Let's go ahead and leave behind the cannon, or not the cannon. The uh... okay. Let's just go ahead and have you guys grouped up over here with these guys. So there we go. Let's get you guys grouped up. Uh, leave behind one. Have you guys brought up here? 
Just looking at that 10%. That's what we're looking for. Uh, go ahead and siege down Naples. Occupied and besieged provinces is going to be good for us here. And then we can also totally, once we land, we'll be able to um, get some more progress. Ugh, it's annoying. Our war exhaustion is so high, too. Jeez. So... Hmm. Yeah, that's the best way to do that. Okay, cool. So... Let's go ahead, blockade the crap out of Italy, see if that gives us the war score we need. Very close. Let's go ahead and barrage this wall here. We can take a couple of months of attrition, it's not a big deal. Let's go ahead and have you guys not die, that's ideal. Once we win Naples, we can actually siege him down. We might even be able to take more than what we're asking for right now, which would be ideal, you know. Next month or so, we're probably going to be able to actually take what we're looking for just right now. Krebus. Krebus. That's fine. We'll be able to handle them in a moment. We do have a lot of rebels going on right now. So let's see here. You guys are still there, unfortunately. Um, yeah, that's a bummer. Okay. One more mount. There we go. Blockade that right there. We won the Siege of Naples. Naples. There we go. Get occupied and besieged provinces on Messina. Siege this stuff all down and we will be able to get out of dodge out of this war. And this is what you deserve for attacking me. Are they being- are they attacking the Ottomans? What in the world? Alright. Crazy, man. Alright, here we go. And this is- this is it. This is the piece. Cool. Um, now ideally we would be able to take, like... Something extra, but, uh, it's fine. I'll just take some money instead. And... boom. Death to spies, of course. But even more importantly, we now control all of this land. I forgot to core that up, so it's bad. But look at this. So good. All right, so you guys are doing that over here. Let's go ahead and get everybody grouped up over here. Let's get everybody grouped up over here. You guys as well. We're going to really need to rush on over. So these guys are 88 months, so that's fine. Um, definitely gonna need to, uh, make my way over. So, let's go ahead and grab you guys from here. These guys are just feeling all kinds of banged up here. So, let's go ahead. We can't raid any of this because Tunis is a bunch of turds. But it's not nearly about raiding as much as it is about, um... That beautiful, uh, what's it called? Uh, privateering. That's, that's what we're really in it for. And let's go ahead and also... Let's see here. We can actually totally just get these guys first and then send them over. I think we're totally fine for that, so that's fine. No big deal. 38 months, that's three years. Uh, that's cutting it a little close. We can manage. We'll make it work. We'll make it work. How old is he? 51? We'll keep him again. We still have decent Republican tradition, so it's all good. Can't believe we got attacked and we stomped the Spanish and took land. Ugh, oh, so good. Um, Is it worth raising an autonomy and losing the... Mm, probably not, really. We can lower this one. Yeah, definitely not worth it for the amount of absolutism we're gonna get. We're just gonna have you guys hop on down there. Have you guys head on over here. 
So let's just use this Merc stack here to uh, siege it back, though. And then we'll get the fort and everything and defeat the rebel army with the rest of them. That's the big thing. Because that rebel stack is going to run over and just, like, run a train on my guys. There we go. Beautiful. And just like that, they won't do anything now. It's just going to be a matter of finish that out. Ooh, naval attrition. Very good. And then the next one will be able to finish it out. We'll also get stronger armies as well. So I love it. Let's go ahead and get you guys home. All right. How's our naval force limit looking? So we're really, really up there. But I think we can build a decent amount of buildings that are going to give us a little bit of extra force limit. I think it's actually more than 0.5 for each of these as well. Um, so let's do that. Let's go ahead and core that up as well. Let's go ahead and just do that. That's fine. I'm losing mill points is no fun at, though, but... It is what it is. Alright, so these guys are going to end up coming over here and raising ruckus. Right, we should have... We need to make sure we're raiding as well. Though we're kind of past the point of where raiding is actually that important. Unless we wanted to min-max, but... At this point, we're really doing okay. The Sudanese... Sugandese... Sugandese nuts. These Sugandi separatists are being problematic to say the least. Let's go ahead and raid them. Screw you guys. You guys are st you guys suck and I hate you. So they are in grasslands, I believe. Yeah, go kill them. Though I am gonna need to build a big, bigger army. Yeah, these guys are actually kind of getting whooped by those rebels. So ah, that's kind of annoying. But <laughs> let's just go speed five for a moment. Let's go ahead and let these mercs go sort that out. I do need to build a bigger army, so let's go ahead and do that. Build like... Let's see, what do we have first and foremost? Because this is my entire army, it's right here. So... 22... What's our fort? 34. So 34, let's go 30 and 4. Eh, we probably can just go 34. Oh, we don't need cav anymore, right? So let's go 34. Which is gonna be... 6... Oops, no, I didn't mean to click that. So that's uh, 31, 2, 3, 4. So that's 34. And then we'll build as many cannons as we can. Let's see, like, one... No, 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 no. Are these Merc cannons? Am I being an idiot? Am I building... What am I building? I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm winging it, guys. I'm being such a goofball. Let's go ahead and get you. Let's go with um, ooh, naval mod or man land maintenance modifier is a good one. Um, let's see here, is this gonna get it for us? Are these guys mercs? No, they're not. Cool. I thought I was building mercs. Felt like a dingus. Alright, I can, I'm okay with having a few mercs. That's fine with me. There we go. This will prevent us from getting attacked again as well, which was kind of annoying, but it is what it is. And then... A conflagration is... Not hard to see how this unusually dry year left the city of Kogawu vulnerable to fires. Okay. Um... We will restore the castle first and spend as little as we can on restoring the rest of the city. Monthly devastation, some money. Monthly devastation, development cost. That's no, fine. All right, now we still have pretty big PP too, so we're really, we really are doing okay. And so, we just need more cannons. Uh, it looks like we're one short. Can I not do quick maps? I cannot do quick maps. All right, cool. So let's go one here and let's go with like up to 20 cannons. 
truce with Portugal is over already, which would be really sick if we could attack them immediately again and take the Caribbean. Oh my gosh, nobody's even going to join them? So, this is beautiful. Cool. Um, I would like to wait until we're done with these cores, but I think we'll be able to concede it. I'm going to wait until the cores are done, though. That's fine. Let's go ahead and buy you down. There we go. And then we'll be able to take tech right on time. Uh, we can take our last idea group, which will allow us to take this guy here. Um, admittedly, it's probably worth losing. It's fine. The morale of navies is going to be huge. Uh, Diplo tech cost? That sounds good to me. We could take that right now. No innovativeness? No deal. So we'll spend it on dev. Paper, paper, paper. It's always worth deving. There we go. And we're taking these fleets. Honestly, we're sorted. We're good. There we go. Let's build another pirate fleet. Um, something like that. That's fine. We're still just like crushing these guys over here. Over here is good as well. Not nearly as much trade here anymore. Uh, so let's see here. Should we shuffle these guys around a bit? Sevilla, Malacca. Admittedly, we probably don't need them in Malacca anymore. It's probably worth... We're not making nearly as much in Sevilla anymore. Hmm. Don't need you guys here either. Okay. Let's send the guys from Malacca. Instead of Malacca, let's, oh, goodness gracious. Let's go ahead and go um, privateer in, um, where, where were we thinking? Genoa? Let's try Genoa. I'll just go ahead and put our Admiral on there so he can get over there. So he hates me now, which is fine. He's still cool with me, even though... Liberate them. Very cool. Does he still give me... No, he took his... Or she. She. Queen Anne. Took fleet basing rights away from me. This stuff has all been raided. So annoying, man. I'm gonna have to attack Tunis if I'm... But I can't, like, do anything, honestly. That's the problem, but... It is what it is. So let's go on and get our guys back over here. Um, supply limit 47, 48, 49, 47, 46. So we'll just split them. It's gonna be Highlands 46. Cool. Let's just get the Navy over there. They're gonna take so much attrition riding over there. So there's not much I can really do about it regardless. All right. Uh, where's the cores at? They're finishing up. So whenever St. Thomas finishes up, I believe it's going to form the Colonial Nation. And, uh, we'll be able to... Oh gosh, they're getting so much attrition. Run, Forrest, run! We should totally build some forts, but I kind of don't really need to either. Hard to say. Uh, let's go with... Trade efficiency. Don't really need it, but the extra dev points or dipple points is gonna be good. Apparently, we lost a stab. I wasn't even paying attention. Feels bad, man. Um. Okay, so we should get a colonial nation there. Uh. Oh, did they finally flip? That's awesome. So does this say that colonial Australia? No. Did these guys form a colonial nation? No. One. Am I high? What is going on? One, two, three, four, five. I'm so confused. Is it not going to happen? Ah, Japanese West Indies. All right, very good. So we are going to wait on our diplomat here. We definitely don't need you over there. So we're going to wait a month or two, and then we're going to declare war on uh, the Venetians. So Stanislaw of the Commonwealth is uh finishing it up so they can take a couple months of attrition that's fine um we're going to declare this war here so let's do that bengal will help but that's fine we definitely want to take 
Zuli, Zui, that's fine. And we're gonna do the war in the next one. So I hope you guys are enjoying. And if you are, please show your support and leave a like. Subscribe if you have not already. And if you wanna check out the Discord or the Patreon to support the channel, links are in the description below the video. And with all that being said, this is Chewy Shoot, and I'll catch you guys later. A big special thanks to Bloodbound92, Valentel, CWG, Dutch Terror, J Clampett, Yodaldo, Classified for Life, Corbett Gaming, Michael Walker, Palmer, Jonathan Crane, Airborne Animal, and all my other awesome supporters on Patreon. I appreciate you guys. Check out the two series linked on the left and the right, and don't forget to subscribe.